Do you like fast and easy scrapbook pages? Because that's what we're doing today. Stay tuned. Okay, you know the drill. Got to take care of business. Head over here. You can find info on how to join my team and all that that entails. They're paying you a dollar right now and there is a no pressure, no minimum business. Love it. Would love to have you join me. You can also submit a contact me form so that I can call you to or message you to schedule a beginner class, whether you're local to me or not. You can get some free stuff. Uh, you can register for crops and retreats and workshops. Some have Zoom options. I would love to have you, see you, all that good stuff. I also have a link to my Creative Memories website where you can shop some of the things that I'm, I'll am i be using today. Uh, and then I have all my goodies. I have my Amazon must-have list. I have my no longer available list. I have um, digital content and uh, pre-made scrapbook pages. So. Go check it out. There's lots to offer. Thank you all so much for coming and watching. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. And please subscribe. And um, let's get to it. Okay, so if you are a member, you were able to watch me build these two borders. The re reason I love borders is that's basically all you need is some borders, some photo mats, and your pages are done. So I love building borders. They're really easy and fun. If you'd like to see this video, um, go check out my membership options. Um, right now I'm gonna get two pieces out to build on. We're definitely gonna need these. This started out as two pieces of paper. I used the um, Autumn Leaves Punch and the Tag Punch just for some added embellishments. And this is what I have left. So I'm gonna make photo mats out of this. So that's all we're gonna need. I got the borders. I'm gonna put one down here. I love using that tag punch for a little extra embellishment. It's so fun. Like I said, borders are awesome. Page starters for any page. And then that's basically all you need as far as decorations go. Your pictures will do the rest. So like I said, two pieces of paper. And this is what I have left. We're going to make some photo mats. And let's see what I have left. That is almost four. And this way it is. Let's see, it is nine. So let's do three by three and a half, no, three by fives. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm just cutting it three a few times. And now we have this little piece left. And then I gotta stack these and cut them at five. Those, that's a great photo mat size. And we can even double mat one of these with some of this. That would be a great like um, statement picture. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the whoop-de-woos off of this. And we're left with a little more than four, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to four, actually. And then we're gonna cut it to six. That's a little bit bigger mat than I would usually like. So maybe we'll cut this to five and a half by three and a half. All right, I think we're done cutting. So what we have is a statement photo. And we have a couple other photos and then we have a journaling box. 
And it looks kind of plain, doesn't it? We might need some more paper. But you can always add more pictures than what you have mats for. Just remember that. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and tape all this down. Um, I think I want this journal box. Except for it's definitely got trees on it. So let's do that. It's going to look plain until I get some pictures on it. Yeah, I definitely like that better. So, two sheets of paper. Created some fun borders. And we had a little left over for a few mats. Like I said, you can put more pictures than what you have mats for, that's for sure. And we do have some more stickers left. So... I'm just gonna throw a few of these on here. Actually, I'm gonna pull this one up. And I'm definitely gonna use some of these hearts because the hearts is kind of a theme I went with. We have some blue ones. Hard to sprinkle them when you don't know for sure where your other pictures are gonna go, isn't it? We have quite a few white ones. I'm redoing my My border here, just a little. We have a couple white ones left. I think that's good. So once you get the pictures on there, that's gonna look awesome. Okay, let's do one more just to show you, to get my point across. I have some border stickers. I have some mats. And these are fun little snowbound mounts. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think snowbound is still available. But we are just going to use some mats. I have some paper strips that I had cut um, from snowbound. Get some adhesive out. And I also punched some mountains. If I could sell those, I could probably sell 5 million of those but they are no longer available. However, if you go on my website, I do punch these out for people. So there is that option. And my website was linked at the beginning. So the point of this exercise is to show you guys that with just a few borders, and you can do fancy borders or just like this, um, you can make some fabulous pages, borders and mats. Let your pictures do most of the talking, right? Let's see, I think we need to come down a little further. I have these border strips I wanted to use, use up. They're a little thinner than I thought they were. Don't like it. I'm gonna move it up a little. I don't wanna see this white behind here. That's better. And I'm just gonna layer these on here.
This collection was really pretty, but I'm sure we'll probably be getting another one soon. Another winter version. This was actually from two years ago, I think. So same thing on the other side. It's just strips of paper, one border punch, a few stickers. I'm using my repo on my silicone mat over here. I'm hoping they come back with some some sort of version of that because it's so handy. I used to save sticker backer, if you guys remember. That wasn't as handy as this nice silicone mat. So just all kinds of layering. You can obviously do a lot more than I did. I was just gathering up some stuff that I had here. And like I said, if you wanna see that first border, go ahead and go check out the membership option. Your support would help me continue to create content for you. Those sticker strips are a little tedious, aren't they? Okay, so let's tape down our mats. I don't have any embellishments left from this pack, so we're gonna have to let the border I did, the mats, and my pictures tell the story and do all the fanciness. This is quite a big journaling box. I probably won't use it all for journaling. I'll probably put a smaller picture down here. Just knowing me. So you can see how simple and easy that is. And I got a cute page really quick. Super fun, super cute. Like I said, if you wanna see those borders, you gotta join my membership. I have quite a bit of members only content so far and I keep adding weekly. So I hope you'll consider joining. It would really help me to consider, to continue providing you with content. Um, as always, please visit my website for all the goodies. I appreciate you all so much for liking, following, subscribing, sharing, you know, all the things. Um, don't forget that I'm looking to buy, build my team and build my community of scrapbookers. And um, I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.